All right, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. Let's just get into this video. So I already prepped my skin with the Urban Decay All Nighter Gripping Primer. And then I also primed the eyes with the Primer Potion, also from Urban Decay. And then now I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye Clown White Cream Makeup. And we're gonna do pretty much the whole entire face. And I'll be right back. And I'm doing stippling motions to get the most coverage. If I were to just swipe it like this, you don't get as much coverage, but by stamping it, we're really optimizing that and making that kind of mask that we're going for. And as I'm working near the nose, I'm really pushing so I can get into all my pores and my crease right here on both sides. And then as we get to the forehead, because I'm wearing a wig that comes down pretty far, I'm not too concerned with bringing it all the way up here because that would be kind of pointless. And I don't just want it to be white and then my skin. So I'm gonna take whatever I have left on the sponge and I'm gonna drag it because we don't need it to be super duper white like we have on the face. I kind of just want it to have a soft fade so that there's just not a harsh line. So now I'm going to take some Ben Knight Super White Powder and I'm going to use this with a powder puff instead of a brush to set the face because I have a pretty thick layer of this makeup on and I really want to be able to push the powder into the skin and into the thick layer of makeup that is sitting on our face. So I will be back with the face set. I lied. We're gonna actually gonna go in with the fluffy brush, same powder, and I'm gonna use this for the neck because this is a lot thinner of a layer than what we have on the rest of the face and it doesn't require as much of a beading with the powder. Just dust it over one more time on the face for extra security. We have the whole entire face blanked out and set with powder and now we're gonna begin with the eyes. The first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Inglot AMC Gel Liner in black, or number 77, however you prefer to call it. And we're going to take a fluffy blending brush from Morphe and coat both of our eyes completely black. And then as we get right here, I'm gonna stipple, bring it up just a little bit. And we're gonna start diffusing it and make sure all the edges around here are soft. Before I move on to the other eye or any of the lower portion, I'm going to set it with a matte black eyeshadow. Moving on to the underneath. Really making sure that we're getting that black cream into that inner corner and then start diffusing it downwards. Same procedure with the black eyeshadow. I went ahead and did the other eye off camera. Now I'm gonna go in with a bright blue eyeshadow and we're gonna go around the edges of this blue right here and diffuse it into the white. And as we get to the beginning of the black here, I'm not gonna take the blue as far up because we are gonna draw an eyebrow here and I want the eyebrow to have a chance to come down so we can go up into a dramatic arch. I swear, every time I do this, look, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger every single night I get ready. And then just like the previous look, I'm gonna go back in with my large fluffy powder brush and a little bit of that same white powder that we used to set the entire foundation. And I'm gonna go around the edges of the blue to kind of diffuse it and make it look much smoother, a little bit more controlled and more part of the face. So now that we have all of that blue blended in, um, I'm gonna spritz my face with a little bit of All Nighter from Urban Decay. Because we have so many layers of powder and product on the skin, it makes it kind of difficult for stuff that we're gonna put on later 
to stick to everything. So I'm going to do this to kind of melt down some of the powders. So now that our face is prepped, I'm going to go in with some blush on an angled blush brush by Mehron. I put a little bit of hot pink and red eyeshadow and kind of mix them together. And I'm going to pop it right here on the high points of the cheekbones. And I'm not really going to blend it out, to be honest. I want this to be kind of cartoonish and doll-like. So I'm really going to build this up, but keep it in a tight little circle right here. So to get this kind of porcelain glass skin look, I'm going to go in with an icy white highlighter and I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose right here, my chin, and a little bit on the forehead right in the center here. And you can see how that kind of just makes me look a little bit more plasticky, a little bit more fake, and not as mattified. Moving on to some contour, I'm going to take a tiny pencil brush, this one's by Mehron, and I dipped it in some black eyeshadow, and we're going to start carving out really sharply some features. So I like to start right here on the chin in the hollow, right above where we highlighted, and I'm going to basically draw in a shadow and make myself a new chin. And I'm kind of going in tiny little circular motions to blend it. This makeup, as you'll see, is going to have a lot of linear features, so this doesn't need to be super blended because we're not, I mean, we're trying to look fake. So don't be afraid to go in. And now I'm going to go on the crevices of my nose here, kind of tuck my lip, and pack it right in here. Turn to the side, you can kind of see how I'm going to wrap it in a circle. and pull down. And that just kind of defines the nose a little bit more. And I'm gonna take that pencil brush and go right into my smile line. And pull down. This gives a really kind of grungy look to the whole thing. So now that the nose and the chin is contoured, I'm going to go back in with that brush that we used for the blush. Kind of kind of scrub it clean. And I'm going to mix a white and a black eyeshadow. And we're going to kind of dirty up the face so that we don't look too, too clean. And it's also going to help me look a little bit... Yeah, creepier. <laughs> so I'm going to start... I guess kind of where I would normally contour on a day-to-day -day basis. Kind of in the cheekbones, kind of just, I guess, the perimeter of the face. All right, and just like the last look, I'm going to take the contour color and I'm going to place it right behind the ear and under the jaw and start scrubbing it and carving out a new jaw. So we look really angular, nice and hollowed out. and pull it down. I'm gonna put a little under the chin. And then when I look forward, I'm gonna dirty this up just a little bit. And this is gonna serve kind of as a nice shadow for the crack that we're gonna put on here in a sec. Okay, so this part is really fine. We're gonna go in with the Anastasia Liquid Liner, and we're going to draw on the eyebrows and all of our cracks and some eyelashes. I like this liner specifically because it dries down to a very matte black, and also it has a really precise tip on it. All right, let's start with the eyebrows. I'm gonna take the liner, and I'm gonna start kind of right here in this corner where we have a lot of this darkness going on. Right here. Here. This is scary to do with um, the camera in front of the mirror. Oh my gosh, no! Okay, why am I scared? Yes. I actually brought the liner all the way to where our nose contour kind of is. 
So imagine like a straight line going all the way up and that's where our brow is going to start. And I'm gonna kind of thicken it up a little bit, only in the front. And then as we get towards the arch, I'm gonna connect the two lines, just like that. The brows are finished. And you guys, they do not have to be like perfectly symmetrical or super pretty. I mean, we're a demented doll. So now we're gonna move on to the eyelashes. I'm gonna draw three coming down here, and then we're gonna do a couple flicks up top. Eyebrows and eyelashes are finished. So now all that we have left to do are a few cracks and then the lips and then we are done Okay, so I like to put my cracks on both sides of the mouth on the chin on the forehead And sometimes I'll put one across the nose, but let's start with the mouth I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna do a few branching off from the main one almost kind of like lightning Just like that other side, same thing, except this time we're gonna pull it down so that we're kind of crooked. For the one on the chin, I start right here and pull down. Oh my God, I need to wax my nose hairs. Stop it right now. And then we're gonna do one coming down the forehead. So now for the lips, I'm going to use the KVD liquid lipstick in the shade Nosferatu. And I'm going to start on the top lip and I'm going to overline a little bit. So I did the whole top lip and I'm going to do in the bottom lip just the center. And then for the last step, we're going to do a white liquid lipstick on the edges of the mouth to cover up these blank spots. I take my pinky and attempt to blend it out before it dries. And then whenever I have all my pinky, I'm popping it right in the center of the red to make the lips a little bit more 3D. And that's it. I'll be back to show you my other contact lens, my wig, my bow, and the rest of my costume. Here's the final look with the bow and everything. Got my little necklace and my skirt. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.